So, in about one hour, a local dealer for New Canoe is going to bring me a 2019 model Frontier. This one right here. 12 foot long, 42, 41 inches wide, so on and so forth. 77 pounds it weighs. 650 pound capacity, self bailing, 2.5 horsepower motor. <clears throat> There's two dealers in the area that carry them. This fella is uh, from Chesapeake, which is the next neighboring city to where we are. And he was nice enough to bring it, or he is going to be nice enough to bring it right to the beach entrance where we can put it overboard and give it a spin. <clears throat> I was really lucky today when I left the knife gig on 17th Street to go by Owls Creek Marina, uh, not Marina, Owls Creek Boat Ramp in Virginia Beach near Rudy Inlet. And I happened to see this exact boat. Guy had a trolling motor on the front of it. So I have to talk to him. I said, man, I'm thinking about looking at one of these this afternoon. Is it really stable as I hear it is? He got on top of a cooler they had right here and jumped up and down, rocked it back and forth. Now, a lot of kayaks will flip over, but not this one, according to him. And according to another guy I've been talking to in Knoxville, Tennessee, a guy named Stephen Johnson, Stephen Johnson. He's got a hund on his. This is actually more stable with the motor. Because I don't have the motor yet. I don't have the kayak either, but I'm going to test one this afternoon. And I may get one. It's uh, in my budget. You know, my budget is tight, but it's in there. But then you got to buy the accessories, and that's where you get killed at. I mean, that's what would kill me. I wouldn't be able to get them all at one time, and I'd have to stretch them out over a period of time. They make a nice thing that goes across here with a tray under it where you store things. Uh, they make a cooler that goes in the back that you can put rods. It's got three rod holders on it. Motor goes back here. You got to buy a motor bracket. I got to buy that and a motor. Comes with a tiller arm. I got to buy the tiller arm. The, sleet, the seat slides forward and it's rivet and slide, what do you call it? Swivels of 360 degrees, whereas most kayak seats do not do that. You'll get a chance to see it live in a little while. That's all I can tell you right now. You'll see my uh, plumpy little bud in there in a little while. We'll see how it goes. Well, there it is. Ladies, we got some nice waves to test it in. I'm getting ready to get in it now. I'll get back to you. Okay, I got her. I got a seat in about a, not quite the middle position. It don't paddle too bad. I heard bad things about the paddling. I was lucky enough to see one today. I think I told you it really in it. Guy said it don't paddle very good. But never been in one before. I can't I can't say anything about how it paddles, but it paddles pretty damn good to me. And the guy said it's a whole lot more stable with a motor. The guy I saw today, he had a big ass electric motor. 
mounted right up in the front. I mean, a big electric motor. The whole nose was. He had a big seat, homemade seat in the back of it. I'm sideways now in the waves. But now you can see there aren't any waves. Except these little teeny rollers coming in. That mount don't mount the hill of beans. Here comes a couple of nice ones. Nothing like boat wakes though. Okay, let's do a little stand-up test here. Okay, we're standing up. Now we got to do the rock test. Damn, I like it. Everybody I talked to said it never flipped him. But a guy said he did fall out of his. You can cast from this thing. You can do anything. Oh, they make a rail you put right up here. It's called a casting platform or casting stand or some damn thing. It comes up about three foot and you hold on to it for conditions like this. Stand by, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm gonna do that now. See the sweet the seat swivels this way. 
Your motor's gonna be back here to have a long tiller that comes back here like this. I'm sitting on the edge of the seat now. Rocking. This is gonna be a nice ticket, I think. Let's see if we can slot out of it. Oh yeah, slide out nice. Let's make an adjustment on the seat, stand by. See that red light? Yeah. Taking a video now. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Wow. Oh. Oh. He's got to spin himself around. That's unbelievable there. <laughs> That boat didn't even rock. <laughs> Different from a kayak, though. Or a canoe. He needs to like slide the seat back and forth and play with it all. You mean slide the seat back yeah, and forth? Yeah, figure out the best place for the seat, you know, because yeah. it slides back and forth. Right. Pretty much trim the boat out to it. Like I said, down so that's the swivel seat. If you're gonna paddle, I recommend you get the, the lock on it so you can lock the seat in position so it doesn't rotate every time you try to paddle. You know? right.
paddle a lot, he's gonna need foot paddle. Definitely stable. Yeah. I mean, just him getting in it would have been a turnover. Right. You know? Most kayaks, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I got that little one and I walked all the way to the front, unscrewed that thing and walked all the way to the back. I mean, it was tipsy, but I never fell off, you know, never kicked me out. Good. All right, now we're going to run over the swimmers. Yeah, swimmers, kids. 